Emily's new coaches. The engines were excited because a new engine was joining the Sodor Railway. When Thomas came to Napa Station, he saw Emily, the new engine, waiting there. She was very smart with her shiny brass fittings. Hello, I'm Thomas, reached Thomas. Hello, I, I'm Emily, said the new engine. Thomas picked up his passengers and said goodbye to Emily. Then the front controller said to her, Your new coaches are arriving at, at the docks today. I want, I want you to learn the, uh, the passengers' routes before they can get here. So get out and collect any coaches that you find and bring them back here. I'll do that right away, sir, said Emily. The only coaches Emily and, her, and his driver can find are Annie and Clarabelle. Let's take these coaches back to the station, said Emily's driver. Annie and Clarabelle are cross. It should be Thomas pulling us. Not that strange little tr new train, said Annie, said Annie to Clarabelle, but Emily didn't hear her. Whenever passed Emily, he went to whistle hello. But then he saw then he saw she was pulling a new Clarabelle. He thought she had stolen Thomas's coaches when Emily said hello to joy to him. Um he just stared crossly at her. When and when Percy passed her, her later, she he also scowled at her. Percy wondered why everyone was being so rude to her. When Thomas came along the line, Emily was pleased to see him because he had been so friendly that morning. Hello, Thomas, she said cheerfully, but to her surprise, Thomas had glared her and rushed up past without saying a word. Emily felt very sad. She thought no one liked her. Later that day, the fat controller told Thomas to pick up the new coaches from the docks. New coaches, said Thomas, but I... Really useful engines don't argue, said the fat controller sternly. Thomas set off grumpily. He didn't want new coaches. He wants his coaches, Annie and Clarabelle. When Emily passed Chiffin Sheds, Oliver said in surprise, What are you doing with Thomas's coaches? Oh, said Emily, now I know why all the engines were so cross. The fat controller told me to pick up any coaches I could find, but I didn't realise these belonged to Thomas. Everyone must think I've stolen them. Thomas collected the new coaches from the dogs. They were shiny and smart, but Thomas didn't care. I don't want new coaches, I want my coaches, he said to himself. He was cross because he thought Emily had stolen, had stolen Annie and Clabo from. As Emily travelled to the station, a signalman waved for her to stop. Oliver hasn't cleared a signal box, he said. Please check to... Please check what's wrong. Oliver had broken down and was stuck on the crossing. Suddenly, Emily heard a whistle. Thomas was rushing towards Oliver. He was breaking hard, but he was going to crash into him. Emily charged forward and with a burst of strength pushed Oliver out of the way just in time. Thomas came to a stop just behind her. He had had a lucky escape. Thank you, said Oliver. You have saved us from a really nasty accident. Yes, thank you, said Thomas grumpily. He was still upset because he thought Emily had taken his coaches. I haven't stolen your coaches, Emily said. I am taking them to the station like the f uh, controller asked me to. Oh, peeped Thomas. He then he realised something. The new coaches I collected are for you, aren't they? he asked. That's right, laughed Emily. He was glad they were friends again. Hello, said Thomas when Emily had met him on later on. I have a surprise for you. A surprise for me, said Emily excitedly. Yes, we're all really happy that you have joined our railway. So we're having a party to welcome you. Oh, thank you, said Emily. She knew she was going to like working with her new engine friends.